Hey, welcome back to another episode of Idaho Dual Sport. I have another unboxing for you today. Pretty excited about this one. I have been using a built Explorer Dual Sport helmet for three years now, and I have didn't really have anything to compare it to because it was my first helmet, so I had no idea uh, whether it was good or bad, or uh, but now that I have uh, something objective to compare it to, um, I'll be able to better give a review. I can already say I know that the Built Explorer is a very cheap helmet. It is an entry-level hel helmet. I understand all the Built line from Cycle Gear is entry-level, low-quality stuff. I, I do understand that. So it'll be interesting to see how much better this actually is. So with the old helmet, I would like to do a proper review and some kind of a special send-off for it. So if you guys have any ideas of tests you'd like to run on the old built Explorer, leave your comments below. I'd like to, to take your suggestions and uh, see what we can do to evaluate the strength of the built Explorer. Okay, on to the Scorpion XO. This is the... E EXO. This is the EXO AT950 helmet and uh, let's just go ahead and take it out of the box here and take a look at it. Comes in a nice cinch bag. This is a lot of helmet for a sub 300 price. Like I said there's a lot of features. Um, let's just kind of read them. Let's go over them here. Product description reads as follows, Scorpion has redefined a segment, melding the best features of touring helmets with the versatility of an off-road lid. Scorpion EXO AT950 helmet is the all-in-one Swiss Army knife of the helmet world. The modular chin bar allows you to relieve your claustrophobia or ask for directions while the off-road style peak and large eye port deflects roost blocks the sun and allows you to wear goggles when tearing up the trails. Additional features such as a ever clear anti-fog face shield and speed view drop down internal sun visor keeps your vision clear and ready for whatever is around the next corner. If you're going to be hitting the highway the peak visor is easily removed to give you an aerodynamic profile so you can bug out at speed eyeglass compatible cheek pads and a quick wick to liner ensures total comfort. Features of this helmet include an advanced LG polycarbonate shield engineered to be lightweight, strong and maximize impact displacement. This helmet weighs in at 3.77 pounds which feels about 20 pounds lighter than my old built Explorer. It also has a dual density EPS advanced multi-layer EPS provides superior energy displacement. Intake vents on the top force cool air in while exhaust vents maximize movement of hot air out of the helmet. Dual position mouth vent. First position acts as a defroster. Second position acts as defroster and ventilation. An elliptic ratchet system uses an elliptical motion that creates 7.6 millimeters of travel, which pulls the shield securely against the eye port, ensuring a proper seal and allows for 100% toolless shield changing in a matter of seconds. Everclear no fog face shield, optically clear shield with state of the art fog free technology anti-scratch hardening coating, 100% UVA and UVB protection. The helmet features a wide eye port, 11 centimeters tall, allows for greater peripheral vision and downward visibility. The Everclear SpeedView drop-down sun visor features Everclear anti-fog coating on both surfaces. And the QuickWick 2 antimicrobial helmet liner keeps you cool and dry in warm weather and warm in cool weather. The quick fit cheek pads allow easy on and off the most common styles of eyeglasses. Easy use fill up chin bar allows the chin bar to be raised or lowered with either hand. Communication system speaker pockets. Removable block off plates included for use when the visor is not on the helmet. 
uh, folding metal visor hardware. It is a DOT certified helmet has a five-year warranty and comes in three shell sizes so I can tell right away when I put this helmet on and I'm gonna go ahead and peel the sticker off of the visor here I can tell right away when I put this helmet on that it is absolutely more comfortable than my old helmet Oh, it's good stuff. Visor, internal sun visor, which I love having, and it's modular. You can't get a helmet with all of these features for less than 800 bucks, from what I could see. So it is a power packed featured helmet and I'll tell you, the difference between putting on the old built Explorer, that thing just felt like it was ripping my hair out when I would put it on. So I had to wear a skull cap underneath to slide the helmet on and off a little bit easier. This helmet I can slide on no problem. It doesn't, doesn't hurt at all. I'm still going to wear the skull cap uh, just because I think it keeps things cleaner. It's a little more sanitary. But let's take this thing for a ride, see how it does in the wind. So a couple things I noticed on the way here, uh, when I very first put on the helmet and buckled it, I noticed that the chin strap was, it's kind of in a position where it's really close to your neck. And when you look down, it kind of wants to choke you. And so that's not good. Uh, caveat number one. Bonus number one, I, can ride with my face shield down in under 80 degrees. It's like 50 degrees right now, but with my old Build Explorer helmet, I could not ride with the windscreen or with the uh, with the lid down in less than 80 degrees without it just fogging up when I would breathe. It's 50 degrees right now, and I'm loving the the heat that it's like keeping my face warm just from my breathing and it's not fogging up so the anti-fog whatever they do on this is amazing uh, second thing that I noticed was when so this has two positions there's like a up middle and a down and the down is for uh, defog and cooling in the summer middle position is just for defog only which I actually did notice just a little bit of cool air when I was up at speed coming up into the helmet my old built Explorer helmet I never noticed any air coming into it as a matter of fact when I took the thing apart to look at the vent system on the top I took the visor off one day so there's two vent things you can open and close and when I would open those I wouldn't it was no difference so I took that visor off one day one day and they don't go anywhere there's no holes in through the helmet to guide the air into the helmet they just go through and go right out the back of the visor they basically go over the top of the helmet <laughs> so it's a total fake feature a little ridiculous oh another thing I noticed was that when I have the, um, what is it, the chin curtain, when I have that in, it kind of clips on to the button or lever that releases the face guard to put that up, to make it an open, you know, put it in open face configuration. And it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to get the helmet up into that um, open face configuration, which is unfortunate because with that extra little plastic piece that clips on from the chin curtain, it hits my nose when I put the helmet on. And so I have to kind of put it in open face position to get the helmet on and then I have to click, click it back down. That's kind of lame. 
Um, but it's only the first time that I that I tried to do it. I mean, I may be able to adjust it a little bit to make it work, but um, it's just kind of lame. Uh, I do like the chin curtain though. Uh, the chin curtain is working. I'm gratefully warm right now. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn on my heated jacket too. It's really quiet inside this helmet. That's another thing that I've noticed. Uh, the Build Explorer is extraordinarily loud. Lots of wind noise. Um, partly, but not wholly, due to the fact that the switch for the face shield, this thing, uh, broke on the inside, so I had to take it out and attach a string to it so that I could get the face shield to come up and down. And it left a couple of holes there from where the hardware used to be. So when you get direct wind on you, like if you stand up, uh, it sounds like basically a jet engine is inside your helmet. Not good. Another thing I appreciate already about this helmet is the inset in the foam for speakers or a headset system. It appears as though they built it specifically for the Senna headset because the just because of the shape of it. It's like perfect for it. And it just sits right in there and it's recessed into the foam, which means it's not pushing into my ears. That was another problem. A major problem I had with the Build Explorer is uh, I don't think they built those helmets expecting for headsets to go in them because it's when you put a, a speaker on the inner wall of the foam behind the cheek pad, it just smushes into the side of your head. And if you don't have that speaker in exactly the right spot, kind of in front of your ear a little bit, it just kills. It hurts so bad. Uh, so I appreciate the recessed foam. Thank you, Scorpion, for doing that. That is such a easy thing to do in the development process. Most guys are gonna be putting headsets in these helmets. Absolutely, without a doubt, a thumbs up on that. Not really sunny, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the inner face shield down and... Yeah. I think it's a little more tinted than uh, the, the built Explorer that I'm used to, but I love having the inner face shield. I absolutely love it because when you're going in and out of canyons and the sun's in your face and out of your face, you can take that up and down. You don't have to worry about pulling over, switching visors, sunglasses, whatever it is. Uh, I absolutely love that feature. So to me, this is an absolutely awesome helmet so far. I will do a more thorough review after I've had it for a while, but so far I am very impressed. And at a sub 300 price range at 269, this helmet packs the features in. Uh, really happy about that. We'll just see if the helmet holds up to my current thoughts about it over time. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and mini introduction to the Scorpion EXO helmet. Like if you like it, thumbs down if it sucked. Leave me a comment if you have questions. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.